Over the last week, I've been working on a very exhaustive and tedious process on keyboard plate comparisons. My fingers are just absolutely sore and destroyed from having to do so many switch installations on the various plates and also building the Mode 80 keyboard about 10 times in a single day, in a single session, straight back to back to back to make this happen. On the bright side, having this board be hot swappable definitely made it easier as opposed to if I had to do a soldered build. Now, the plates being compared will include the aluminum, brass, FR4, polycarbonate, and palm. Note that the aluminum and brass plates have foam gaskets pre-installed on them as this is specific to the Mode 80. Keep in mind that plates and switches will sound and feel different on other keyboards since there are so, so many builds out there, but hopefully my video here can serve as a decent example reference. Also note, this content is separated into two videos because I did the plate comparisons twice. First with linear switches and then second with tactile switches. That's why I built this keyboard 10 times. Five plates, twice each. So the motivation behind doing this test was to figure out what my preference is on keyboard plates. And I'll discuss more of that in the part two video. So before we jump into the sound tests and the comparisons, I think it's appropriate that I briefly go over the mode reflex linear switches that I used in this video. So this first part video will be using the reflex linear switches. They are from Mode Design and manufactured by Duroc. They come lightly pre-lubed and can be used stock or re-lubed to your preferences. Top housing is polycarbonate with a nylon bottom housing, 5-pin PCB mount style, and it uses the new Duroc V2 linear stems with chamfers on the bottom of the stem giving it a lead-in feel when pressed. I use stock switches to test since I felt it would serve as a better example because every person who decides to lube or film their switches will do so differently and in their own desired amounts. I will also reserve talking about the signal tactile switches in the following part two video. All right, let's get into the sound test.
Okay, I learned that I don't like PC or palm plates. Uh, so moving forward with future builds, at least for myself, I'm not gonna be using those. And I'm going to be sticking with FR4, brass, and aluminum. Not just for the sound and feel, but also for the, <laughs> the switch installation process. At least for the Mode 80 keyboard, installing switches on PC and palm plates is not a good time. PC and palm plates are very soft and flexible, which makes the sandwich gasket mounting process a bit difficult since you can't just line them up and press the switches in and expect a flush and complete click into the plate and PCB. The cutout tolerances on PC and palm plates are very tight, so it's best to pre-install most or all the switches into the PC or palm plates first before putting the internal switch mounting layers together. But ultimately, if you like the softer typing experience with polycarbonate or palm, then you're going to build with it anyways, because once your keyboard is fully assembled, then you're probably not going to take it apart again or disassemble it very often. Now, the part two video where I cover the plate comparisons using tactile switches is going to be linked up here, so please check that out. And thumbs for this video if you liked it, subs if you want to see more. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Peace.